What's up, fight fans? Main man, me man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. What up to the fam? What up to everybody in main man, me man's boxing for? Him? Hey, look, the thing is this, fight fans. So word on the curb is that they're looking to make the Josh Taylor versus Teofimo Lopez fight for June 10th, fight fans. And it looked like it's being reported that they both sides have agreed on all terms. And it looked like we're heading towards that fight. I'm liking what I'm hearing with it right now. And if we're going to go towards it, it's a good ass fight, fight fans. I don't know about y'all, fight fans, but I'm messing with this one here. Yeah, man. See, my initial reaction to this was simple, man. Like, if I wanted Teo to initially, you know, take his time at 140, see what his power was going to do up there because of the kind of fighter that he was at 135. See if you can try to be that kind of fighter at 140, but give yourself some time to kind of get used to the division. Ain't no rush to get back to the top floor. But Teo not only jumps to the top floor, he jumps to the chippity top. Because Josh is perceived to be the number one fighter at the class fight fans. Former undisputed champion of 140 pounds, vacated most of his hardware, but still left with the WBO championship belt. And that's the one he'll be defending against Teo. Hey, Slim. Hey, but he catching Josh at a real good time. I mean, he catching him at a time where he's supposedly coming off of an injury. After being, uh, he pulls out of that Jack Catterall fight due to an injury. So, I mean, we know how this goes. He's supposed to have sustained some sort of foot injury uh, 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 in training or somewhat or something going on with him with his foot that he couldn't make the Catterall fight. And a lot of boxing fans are going to look at that and say he ducking Catterall because of how close that their fight was and how maybe sort of anticipated the rematch was. But unfortunately, you know, this, this is something that Josh Taylor has said in the past that if he was going to hang around at 140 pounds he's preferred it's just he's you know vacated all of his belts he preferred to do it against bigger names and there's a and teofimo lopez name holds a lot of weight it brings a lot of dollars for josh and it makes some sort of sense as for Catterall, i never thought he should have had to do the rematch in the first place fight friends that's just my opinion because i thought he won the fight and i don't think he gets nothing by beating Catterall in a rematch uh that he don't got right now we're going into the tail fight and that's just my opinion. I know there's a lot of fans of Jack Catterall and maybe even Catterall's team that maybe not, you know, look at this and say, dang, you know, this messed up. But, hey, if the man got injured, the man got injured. What can you do, you know? You can't disrespect a former undisputed champion. That's the way it goes, man. He get to fight who he want to fight. And he going to get the money because he earned it in the ring. You know? So, hey. And Teo, man, Teo better watch it, though, man. Because Teo, I mean, after that Sandor Martin performance fight, fans, what are we talking about? I mean, I thought he did well for persevering and breaking through and keep and continuing to fight, to fight on and, and not give up and, and to find a game plan to win that fight and to fight and to fight through his adversities in that fight. So I, I gave him a lot of credit for that, man. But like I said earlier in the video, I want to see what his power looked like at 140. And can he be that same kind of fighter? And if he can't, does he need time to adjust to be a new fighter? But Teo comes with a lot of tools, you know what I'm saying? But that's what I wanted. But he may look at Josh and say, look, he catching a wounded duck. If he injured, shoot, this is a good time to catch him, right? And maybe that's what he's looking at, you know. But even so much of rehabilitating Josh is still going to be a tough fighter to beat. Josh is going to come in there. Uh, Josh can do pretty much everything, fight fans. We know he can box, he can brawl inside, outside. Defense is not all of that. Got a lot of uh, holes in it, but that make that's because of the kind of fighter that he is, the ranges that he put himself in, the the risks that he takes uh, in the ring, all of that matters. And, and so when you add, when you add all that up, that that shows him getting touched a lot in, in a lot of cases. You know what I'm saying? But he's down for the war. He's down for the fight, and you got to respect that about Josh Taylor. That's how he became undisputed, and it wasn't no easy route. He didn't go through no uh, anybody. He went through the who's who of 140. Beat them all in a tournament. I love tournaments in boxing fight fans, especially when there's belts. Love it. You know what I'm saying? And he did that. So I got a lot of respect for this dude. And, you know, he, he going to be tough. So Teo think he catching maybe a wounded duck. But be careful, man, because this wounded duck still going to fight, even if he is wounded. And if he ain't wounded, man, I hope he, he ain't playing possum on you. Because last time I seen Josh, Josh ain't look like he, he should have been laid up fight fans. He looked like he... 
He looked like he could have got in the ring and did some sparring that day. You know what I'm saying? On the video I saw. But, hey, maybe you're just me and my eyes playing tricks on me. What do I know? I ain't no doctor. <laughs> yeah, man. So, shit, man. It, 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 the thing is, though, this is a good-ass fight, man. Teo got a lot of tools in his belt, too. Uh, Teo showed, like I said, he showed a lot of heart. Showed the will and the win. That's what happens when you got your father in your corner uh, pushing you and stuff. You know, you ain't really willing to give up. You're willing to dig deep and, 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 and to keep on fighting and find a way to win, man. You know, so that's good stuff, man. And at the end of the day, man, Teo is hopefully we'll see if his if if his if his gamble pay off because he didn't really have to take this fight. He could have. People, I think a lot of boxing fans would have understood him kind of getting his feet wet at one forty if he decided to go that route. But instead, he's going for the top floor, man. He's going for the best fighter at the class fight, fans. Real spell. So this gonna be real good. June tenth, man. Don't miss it, man. Thumbs up on the way out if you didn't hit it on the way in. Share, share, share. Rock the bells. We'll talk more about this fight on the live stream. To the next video, man. Peace out.